30 odd years ago, I had a major motorcycle accident and to, uh, in London on the embankment. And today, I have a meeting in London. And this will be the first time that I've ridden a motorcycle uh, into London. Sorry, it's a new bag, I'm getting used to it. Um, since then. And um, I'm facing my demon. Well, uh, I have any flashbacks, any issues, doubt it, but you never know. The mind is a crazy thing. So, as I've got a meeting up in London, and I can ride my bike into London for free, other than a bit of petrol and a one pound parking fee. I'm facing my demon and testing out this uh, Oxford bag while I'm at it. So, we're going to cruise down the A40 and uh, See how I get on. To say the third exit to see London. <laughs> I'm going to London. Ooh. Londinium. I'm gonna do my Dick Whittington slap then. So I've got the Senna Striker Crash Helmet, uh, my Merlin jacket, Oxford jeans over me thing, and my DX something DXR boots, which I like a lot. So much so, I bought the company. No, I didn't. No. Just bought another pair. <laughs> and round we go. Round and round and round we go. Where we stop, no one knows. Clearly marked. Don't want the outside A40 because um, uh, that goes to a slip road down. But you watch that black car and that yellow one, you watch. I don't think they'll go on the slip. I think they're going to go along and then cut in, which is the usual trick to save two or three car parking spaces. Car spaces, should I say so? There they go, look. Just a yellow and black, there we go. Both, just as I thought. And the motorbike. And off we go. So he overtook me in between that van. <laughs> so he was in like four or five line position, row position. Absolute numpty. To do what? To come off at the junction. They exist in cars and they exist on bikes. They're called dickheads. Well, I'm doing 40. I don't know what, the, what they're doing behind me, but I'm genuinely doing 40.
clock was doing 40. doing 40 <laughs> and he's overtaking me so hey ho okay so now I've got a I can't remember now this is a feed onto um, what's his name isn't it so I've got to come out I've got to come out I don't want to be doing that. Oh yeah, so we're now coming up to the A406. This is the bit I promised. Um, what's on the A406? Come on, Smithers at the back. Hands up. There's the Ace Cafe. So essentially the Ace Cafe, the legendary Ace Cafe, is on my doorstep. And, surprise, surprise, many of my new videos will be starting there and why not have a nice breakfast and then shoot off to the beautiful parts of the United Kingdom that I'm going to share with you and what a better place to start than the Ace Cafe that's more hugging for the Ace Cafe maybe get a free breakfast no I'm joking <laughs> who am I no one it's a little good I've got a funny feeling the camera's probably looking at the bus more than the car in front of me, so um, I do apologise. I will adjust myself. I will uh, speak to my tailor and uh, get that adjusted. There's a BP garage, I think. Um, It's a BP garage on the left, I believe, if memory serves me right. So what I'll do is I'll uh, hop in there, I'll adjust my camera, because it's a little bit skew with, but it's just pointing outwards, which is a bit silly. I don't know, that goes off to uh, Park Royal. I'm under 40, so that's fine. I'm just going to nip in here. And then, potentially, there's a garage down here, or was it there? Was that it? I haven't been down there for so long. Oh no, there it is, there's the garage. Okay, let's pull into the garage, adjust myself, and then join the Wrong of uh, into London traffic. No, too early. Yeah, no, come out. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We. Oh. So adjust myself. Okay. Have a little an adjustment session. I must have stopped with the some glove off. I suppose I've done it. I think that's better, isn't it? Same me forward more now. Hold on. <coughs> Down here as well. So I think what's going to happen is I get down here to East Axon and we're going to go up and over the um, the uh, Marlebone flyover, you know the flyover? So that's going to be fun, up <laughs> and above everybody. And then I've got to get my brain into gear because um,
I'm going to get attacked left, right, and bloody centre by everybody. Because it's, um, a, well, from memory, it's a nightmare up in London. I don't know if it's changed. There's a green light, that's fine. Red light there, green straight. Okay, so down a gear, just ease into it, just in case it trips. No, we're good. They're staying where they are, good. She's staying where she's staying, good. Marvelous, there we go. And as I mentioned before, that feature there, uh, buses, bikes, motorbikes, is going to be in taxis, is going to be a, um, a more widespread feature throughout the country. Uh, so it's the guidance from the government to councils to uh, where they deem fit, but all we deem fit, we ask them, tell them, whatever. Motorcycles will be able to do what I'm doing. Just keep out of the way of the main thrust of traffic.
my benefit is I don't I don't have to argue with a load of cars. The price I pay is the bus stopping. <laughs> So there's the park on the left, Regent's Park, and the zoo in there somewhere. So I've lived in London all my life, and I've never been to London Zoo, that I'm aware of. It's going down. So yeah, up here on the left uh, is the way to um, uh, Camden Town. So up there. And then obviously North London and all what that gives you. Yeah, that policeman was really kind, gave me the gap I needed because that driver in the black car that was holding me and my fellow motorcyclist up, as he's, I don't know, probably doesn't know how to use the steering wheel. So here's my right hand turn. Hold in place. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. Up a hold in place. Perfect. This is the other problem with 20 mile an hour speeding, is you've got no wiggle room to um, get yourself out of trouble. Okay, oh. I actually think I'm here, I think. If I'm where I think I am, I'm going to be doing a right soon. Um, if I am, um, just get my, my bearings, yeah, yeah, we'll be doing a, right, yeah, we're going straight down there, right, he says, confidently, <laughs> what should we do left? <laughs> so here's London. Maybe a bit that you've not seen before. Maybe you visited London, or maybe you have, and you recognise it. You go, oh yeah, I remember that. Well, here it is. Still here. Still doing what London does. Okay, so this is the Imperial Hotel. Yeah, definitely know where I am now. Yeah, remember that. Imperial Hotel. Through that driveway there. And lots of other hotels. Here and sleep if you wish. Don't know what else you're going to do in well. <sighs> And off we go. See our flag flying everywhere. Marvel's wonderful. Make your wallets lost. Yeah, right, calm down. Oh, dear me. Everyone's up for an heart attack. Anyway, I'm not letting that phase me. I am just cruising along. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to London. 
And I know exactly where we're going now. That's all right. No, called it a bit early. That's what you had there's holding. Sorry, yep. One street too early. Okay, Queen Street, good. So we've got the iconic, the road where on the left, there will be the iconic uh, Grand Connaught Rooms, is it? Why am I remembering these things? Um, really posh restaurant place. And hotel and everything. So um, I don't want to go, I want to turn right the next. Yeah, so I want to turn right here. Is it? This is where I won't go. Voilà. Great Queen Street, yep, that's me. On a fixed right, so that's good. Uh, shops are shutting down. Oh dear, it's not good. That's not for me to worry about. Well, it should be. Need people to open businesses and do their commerce. There you go, there's no yellow box. So let's keep that from this guy. Now I've just got to hope there's a car, there's a bike pace, now I've got to pay for it. There's the, yeah, that was right, coming all rooms. Just be careful because people are diving in and out all over the place. Okay. A couple of pubs. There's the, I don't know if you can see it with the sun in my eyes, but there's uh, Freemasons Lodge Place, Big Grand Lodge. And here's Motorcycle. I'm all right here, yeah? All right? I've got to pay. Pay on the phone, innit? <laughs> 